So on the channel, I am definitely a budget connoisseur when it comes to PC hardware. So specifically today, we're gonna to be looking at budget graphics cards and is it necessary to replace the thermal paste and do you get any extra performance out of it, better cooling? Let's find out. So being that I like to purchase budget parts, I have a few candidates that we can look at today. We have the GTX 690, which we're not gonna go with. We have the, I don't even know what this is. I can't remember, 650 Ti. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, okay. Maybe that one. We have the GTX 760. Um, this one would be a good candidate, and I may do this one, or the regular GTX 650. Now, I think off the bat, I'm kind of torn between the 650 Ti and the 650, and specifically maybe the blower style because they tend to run a little bit hotter. So, you know, maybe thermal paste and some fresh thermal paste will make a big difference on here, especially since it has limited cooling uh, in the first place. So I think the 650 Ti is gonna be the winner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna benchmark it and stress test it and we're gonna record the temperatures, maybe like 25 minutes of running a stress test and get the average temperature. Then we're gonna take it apart, I'll show you how to do that, how to re-thermal paste it, and then put it back together, put it in, and see if we get any better temperatures. Pretty straightforward, but I'm really excited to see if it actually makes a difference on these old budget cards and if it's really necessary to do or not, or if you can just plug it in as soon as you buy it. So let's get started. So the first benchmark we're gonna do is the Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0. We got this running at ultra settings right now. We're currently sitting at 51 degrees Celsius or 123 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna let this run for a little while. We're gonna record the temperature. Then we're gonna go run the Fire Strike Benchmark, see what our temperatures are looking like in that. So then we'll go ahead, we'll take apart the graphics card. We'll re-thermal paste, it'll kind of show you how to do it. And we will benchmark again and see if we get any better temperatures. Let's hope. So you know, you can do your own research on what thermal paste you wanna use. I specifically have bought the Arctic MX4 thermal paste. I've been using this for a while. It works fantastic. It just comes in a little tube like this. It has a nice little cap so it doesn't dry out every time you use it. Um, unbelievable. Ah, got it. Um, and there it is. You just put a little dab on there and uh, let's get started. Let's take it apart. So you're gonna need some kind of screwdriver, Phillips, to take off the screws on the back here. You're gonna need a little rag or paper towel or something to wipe the old thermal paste off. And then you're gonna wanna get some isopropyl alcohol, 70 to 90%. Um, I got 70%, uh, they didn't have anything higher in stock, so I would've gone maybe like 80 or 90%, but this will work just fine. And like a little Q-tip or something like that. So first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the screws off so we can take the shroud uh, off the PCB here and actually get access to the chip itself. On the graphics card itself, what you see is mostly just a shroud for aesthetics and the fan cooling system. The graphics card itself is just the PCB. That's This is the graphics card. This is the aesthetics and the cooling on it. All you gotta do is disconnect the fan there. And now, there we have our old thermal paste on the GPU die. And if we feel it, oh yeah, completely hardened up. So now we have the old thermal paste on there and a lot of dust as well. On this one, we'll try to rub it off. Rubs off perfectly, you're gonna be able to see just how shiny these dyes are. This is always my favorite part. I love cleaning these off and just seeing the absolute shine on these babies. Look at the shine on that. Are you kidding me? That is such a nice shine. I could just stare at it all day. This one, can't rub it off, you see that? Nothing happens. So I'm just gonna like scrape that off and that's how I'm gonna get that off. 
So now that I've pretty much got all the chunky stuff on there, I'll try to rub it off as best as I can. Much better now. So as you can see, there's some leftover residue. And then I'll take my Q-tip, dip it in there a little bit, and then we can nicely kind of rub that off, get that excess off there, get it real nice and cleaned off. You can rub it again. Just make sure you wanna get all that excess off there. And now that one looks pretty dang clean. And now we're ready to put the new thermal paste on there. So if you remember, when I took it off, there was thermal paste on the die itself and there was thermal paste on the heat sink. Um, that's because when they switch on top of each other, obviously it smears and that's where the contact is made on both of them. But when you reapply it, you only wanna put it onto the GPU die itself. So we're gonna put a little splash of the Arctic MX4 onto there. We're gonna hook the fan back up and then we'll put it back together. I'll probably blow it out too because you wanna talk about bad temperatures, dust. Dust will absolutely give you terrible temperatures. So, I mean, this, this heat sink is caked. So I'm gonna take it outside of the garage actually and I'm gonna blow this out quick. So I would not recommend doing this in your house if you're an asthmatic or if you just hate nasty old crusty dust and I don't know who's like toe fungus. This is, this is a used card, so you know, someone's dead skin and stuff's gross. So do it outside. Much cleaner block, much cleaner. Okay, so now everything is good. We're gonna take our cap off. We're gonna put a little bit of thermal paste on here. Perfect, you don't need a lot. So while it's benchmarking, I figured I'd actually come up into the good light by the big window, you know, actually take a good looking thumbnail. So let's do that. So the tests are done and what do we find out? Well, you do see a decrease in temperature, but it's only very minimal at one or two degrees. Now this is at stock speeds. I did not do any overclocking, but you know, this card is almost 10 years old when it came out and this is the original thermal paste. So it does do a very good job throughout the entirety of the card's life to keep it at a low temperature. So it's really up to you if you want to do it. It's not going to hurt for sure. It only is about a five minute process, but it's not going to lower temperatures a large amount. But that was pretty fun to do, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.